What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp 2019 tutorial. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about a fairly easy way to migrate all of your plugins and extensions over to SketchUp 2019 from 2018 without having to re-download all of them. This video is brought to you by my SketchUp Tips Guide. Um, the SketchUp Tips Guide is a guide I put together with kind of my best modeling tips for uh, getting faster in SketchUp. So that's a free guide I put together to help you kind of get started in SketchUp. If that's something you're interested in, check that out at thesketchupessentials.com slash tips. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so the method I'm gonna talk about is transferring the files directly um, from your SketchUp 2018 to SketchUp 2019 extensions folder. I will note, and I'm gonna put a big note in the lower left-hand corner here, um, do this at your own risk. You are moving files and folders around inside of your SketchUp installation. This has always worked fairly well for me, but if you're not super comfortable moving files around um, inside of Windows Explorer, you may wanna find a different solution. And in fact, I'll give you one real quick. So if you go to Window, extension warehouse inside of SketchUp, you can actually click on this button right here and uh, what that's going to do is that's going to take you to your profile where you can see a list of the extensions that you have installed. So you can just re-download all of your extensions if you want to do that. That's not really an option for me because I have really slow internet and it would take forever to do this so I had to kind of find a workaround. But if you're not comfortable moving a bunch of files around, just go into the, and you can see how slow this is going. Um, because of my internet connection. But you can see how when you click on this button right here, this is going to bring up a list of your extensions that are installed through the SketchUp extension warehouse. And you can go in here and if you want to install all of them, you can just click the button for install all. That should go through and re-download all of these from the SketchUp extension warehouse. However, I'm going to show you a manual way to move those files over. So what you want to do is you want to find your your SketchUp extensions folder or your plugins folder. That's going to be the file where all of your um, extensions are located. And so usually where that's going to be located, unless you have a custom folder, is that's going to be in your users and then your username and then app data, roaming, SketchUp, SketchUp 2019, and then SketchUp plugin. So if I was to go up in this folder, you can see how my app data and roaming folder is going to contain data for SketchUp 2017, 18, 19, whichever one of these you have installed. Well, what you can do is I'm going to go inside the SketchUp 2018 folder, for example, and uh, you can see how when I do that, there's a SketchUp folder and then there's a plugins folder. That folder should, unless you have a custom um, installation location, that should contain all of your different extensions. So you can see how right here I have all of my different extensions that show up in here. So all of my Fredo extensions, things like that. So one other trick for finding your extensions folder if you can't find it is if you have the Sketchication extension loaded. So if you go down to extensions, Sketchication, that actually has an option in here for open plugins folder. So Sketchication actually knows where your plugins folder is and it'll open that up. So if you're in SketchUp 2018 and you have the Sketchication extension, just go to extensions, Sketchication, open plugins folder in order to find that folder. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy these over to the SketchUp 2019 extensions folder. I will note that this isn't an officially supported way of doing this, but it is a way that you can take all of these really quickly and move them to SketchUp 2019. I would recommend that you make a backup of all of these before you do this in case you accidentally change something um, because you don't wanna lose all of this stuff. Though usually you can go re-download these. It's a a lot easier if you have a backup. And so the way that we're gonna do this, or the way that SketchUp looks at this folder is it goes in this folder and it finds all of these different Ruby script files when it loads up and it loads them on your computer. Um, or it loads them as it boots up inside of SketchUp. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these Ruby script files and we're gonna copy them over. So we're just gonna take everything in this folder. So I'm just gonna do a control A and again, make a backup before you do this. I'm not responsible if you lose anything on your computer. You need to be careful when you're doing this. Um, so do this at your own risk. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click on all of these and I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this folder first. 
And so one other thing about this before we do this is you may have to turn on show hidden files um, in order for this to work. So like for example, if you go in your, if for whatever reason you go in here and you're not seeing files, you can just go to view and check the box for hidden items. When you check the box for hidden items, then everything that's in that folder should show up. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up one window to the left that is my SketchUp 2018 folder. I'm gonna open up another window to the right that's gonna be my SketchUp 2019 folder. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in here and I'm just gonna hit a Control A to copy everything. And then I'm just gonna do a Control C to copy these. Or you can right click and click on copy. And then I'm gonna right click in my SketchUp 2019 plugins folder and click paste. And before I do that, I'm gonna close out of SketchUp 2019. So we're going to right click, we're going to do a copy, we're going to do a paste, and depending on the number of extensions you have in here and the speed of your computer, this could take a while. So you can see how I have um, a little over a gigabyte of files inside this folder, things that are getting moved over. And so we're going to wait for those to get transferred over. And again, don't cut and paste, just do a copy and paste because you want to leave these in your SketchUp 2018 folder um, because you want your SketchUp 2018 working as a backup in case one of these extensions like doesn't work or something like that um, because some of these aren't necessarily compatible with SketchUp 2019. But you can see how this is going to go ahead and copy all of these over. And then in this case, it's telling me it has 359 files with the same names. So usually this is your Trimble Connect stuff and your uh, sandbox tools, the things that come loaded with SketchUp. I always recommend skipping these files because a lot of the time they have the same name but not the same data. And the stuff in SketchUp 2019 is probably more up to date. So I'm going to go ahead and click the button for skip these files. And so what that's going to do is that's going to copy all of these extensions over into your SketchUp 2019 plugins folder. So now that we've copied all this over into your SketchUp 2019 folder, we can go open SketchUp 2019. And so that's something that can get a little interesting when you first do this. So I'm going to go ahead and open SketchUp 2019. And this could take a little while the first time that you do this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to use my template file. And I'm going to open this up. Well, the first time you do this, this could take a while because this may go through and try to load all of these different extensions. And you may get some load errors in here um, because some of these may be built on uh, old code or something like that. Usually if you just click OK and you just kind of let it work in the background, then uh, it's going to be fine. And actually this seems to have worked pretty well. It didn't go through and load all of them. The first time I did this on my computer that wasn't for a demo, um, it came through and it loaded all of these different extensions at once. And so I just got a ton of different windows in here and uh, also some different dialog boxes for things that require different, um, different licenses and stuff like that. So you just kind of have to work through those as you go. And uh, usually you just kind of click OK and don't worry about updating any of those licenses or anything like that. And then you can always come back through into your extension manager and that's going to list all of those different files that you've installed on your computer. And one thing that can kind of make this a little bit easier is once you've opened this up one time, you can go through and you can disable everything and then come back in and just enable the extensions that you want to use. So it can get super crowded on your computer if all of these come in as enabled. Um, you may have to turn on different extensions by clicking the the button to enable it and clicking apply changes in order to get those to load up. Um, and honestly, some of these extensions may not work 100% in the new version. So you may have to go back through and um, uninstall them. So moving to a new version is always interesting because the extensions are third party um, files. And so one thing I will say is occasionally, not very often, but every once in a while you get a few extensions that just don't want to play nice together. And uh, when that happens sometimes, and it doesn't happen a lot, but sometimes they just won't necessarily um, let your SketchUp load all the way so it may crash. If that's the case, if you start dealing with some crashing, um, you can go back through and you can delete out extensions from your SketchUp 2019 plugins folder if you think some of those are pretty being problematic. 
So there is a little bit of trial and error process incorporated in this. So just be aware that you do need to uh, have a little bit of uh, you just kind of have to work through any issues that come through this. And if you're not comfortable with that, you're probably better off just re-downloading your extensions manually. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Um, have you tried this? Is this something you're confident with? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.